We're here today outside the King's Head pub on Barton Lane. Uh, we're going to do a short video about the sad state of the pubs in Eccles and nationwide actually. But as you can possibly hear, there's constant traffic rumbling past, drowning us out. So we're going to go around the back and there's a pile of beer kegs. Quite handy really, isn't it? We can sit on them and we'll talk about the pubs of Eccles and conditions, etc. So if you'll join me, come with me now. Thank you. As you can see, we've moved back to the Salford Media Studio offices. Uh, the traffic on Barton Lane was unbearable. So we're filming now where we feel more comfortable back in the offices. And yeah. So we're here to talk about the state of the pubs of Eccles. As I mentioned earlier, brought this fine tome in 1981. And checking through it the other night, I was a bit shocked to find out that the, of the 51 pubs, 25 have gone. Now, seven have been demolished completely and the rest have been used for other purposes. Shops, supermarkets, flats, a hostel, uh, a house in one case. Uh, it's not a good situation, is it really? I'll just say the ones that have been demolished. You may remember these, the airport hotel, the Brown Cow, the Duke of Wellington face in the library. Uh, the Golden Cross, Cloudy's, great pub. Uh, the Railway Inn, Top House, just only recently demolished. And the Unicorn, Peel Green, which we filmed the demolition of that. We filmed the demolition of the Top House as well. But added to that as well, you've got the number of working men's clubs. You had the, the Lee Street Working Men's Club. You, I think it's about five or six that have gone. The AU on Mather Road. The Chestnut Lodge on Trafford Road, they've all gone. And I'm trying to wonder out why, whether it is it because the state of the economy, there's no long-term employment, there's no disposable income. It's rather a sad state of affairs, but as an example, what we're trying to talk about, what we will be talking about today is Barton Lane. It's only a shortish stretch of road in Eccles. And it at one time had five pubs on it, and now we've got none. Uh, closed, boarded up, other purposes, and I'd like to just briefly talk about them, give you a hint of the history and what we've lost. Behind me is, well, we, where we filmed before, this is the offices, obviously, the King's Head pub. Uh, there was a pub on this site from the 1770s, and it was had a beautiful name, the Dog Behind the Door. I don't know why that name comes from, but it was also shared 20 odd years later with the Rock Hotel pub, which was that away. Now, with the digging of the Manchester Ship Canal in the 1880s and the passing of the Manchester Ship Canal Bill in 1885, Eccles became a boom town overnight. Uh, gentleman, I've got his name here, he purchased his pub for £4,000, it extended it, and it was catering for visitors who'd come to see the diggings of the Manchester Ship Canal. It was a huge tourist attraction. Shadowbanks had arrived from all over. Greater Manchester to witness, it was an, don't forget, it was an incredible feat of mechanical engineering, wasn't it? Ship Canal and the aqueduct. And that's, it's gone from strength to strength. And I can remember this pub, it's always been a Boddington's house as far as I can remember. It's a lovely pub, nice, clean, uh, tidy. But for some reason, it's closed in the last 18 months. And I've been told off a good source that it's going to be a dentist, which is a bit ironic. Um, I suppose it's better than it being demolished. That's my opinion, but I just hate to see any any pub close. And as I mentioned earlier, there was another four pubs on this stretch of road here. You had the Ship Canal pub that's been demolished. That was originally known as the Running Horses. And that was a, a nod to when Eccles had a race course. We did have one actually until the 1850s. It was on the site of Togo Mill across the road. And that's demolished the Golden Lion on Barton Lane. That's claimed to fame it was the only pub in World War II to be bombed during in May 1941. Mind you, we did bomb enough of theirs, didn't we, in the war, I suppose. Uh, the landlord, Frank Buckingham, he had the honour of being the last landlord and the first when the Golden Lion reopened in 1967. Uh, it's closed within the last few years. It's now, I think it's called the Barton Fireplace Surround Centre. And one which rankles with me is a pub next door, so Royal Oak. Beautiful pub dating from 1904. 
And it's a fantastic example of Edwardian architecture when no expense was spared in mahogany fittings, tiles, acid etched windows. It's a grade two listed building and it closed several years ago. And what perturbs me is that the owners, allegedly, I'm not too sure on this, a Chinese who intended to turn it into a restaurant, but they didn't get the correct planning permission. Now, with it being grade two listed, the fittings inside, uh, that meant they'd be untouched. Now I've passed many a time, and the windows are always drawn, which makes me think, hopefully they're not doing any alterations they shouldn't be doing. I hope they're not, obviously, but it's again the case of another good pub gone. And finally on Barton Lane, the star next to Shawcross is, that is now a dentist, ironically, as this one will be a dentist. More dentists than pubs on Barton Lane. Uh, that was a nice little gro gro Groves and Whitnalls pub originally, Green Old Whitley. It's always been a very quiet little pub and people may remember it had a name change for a while to the Red Fox. Uh, so it's now a dentist, I'm not sure of the name of it, but it's a bit sad, isn't it, what we're losing? 50% of the pubs think about that within a 40 year span. I can't think of any new ones. There's been bars, hasn't there? You know, the Station Bar, the Mountain, they've got their trendy bars, but I don't classify them as pubs. Um, so what we intend doing with the next few weeks, we'll be visiting the sites of where pubs were, like I said, mentioned before, Cloudies and the Wagon and Horses. And we'll be telling you a bit about the history of them and uh, bemoaning the fate of Eccles Boozers. Beer and loathing in Eccles, I was going to call this, and uh, can't get a drink. Hang on about, that might be full, that one. Uh, right, I think that's about it, really. We're going to have a mooch about. So thanks for watching, and uh, as I say, over the next few weeks, we'll be doing looking at the other 24, sorry, the other 13 pubs that have gone, and we'll take it from there. Cheers. Sad face, see it? <laughs> You're